In this demo, we will show the difference between the pulling part of a belt and the opposite belt part. So we start from a drive, ratio 1 to 2. We have a mass here of 1 kilogram and we have gravity put on. So we expect the pulling part of the belt will give some specific pattern. So here we choose the belt and we select both forces for belt 1 and belt 2 and we see a pattern as expected. So the pulling part of the belt goes down to zero then it stays zero as the mass is falling down and then after the bottom point it starts growing again. Okay. In the next part we will show the same example but now with an external force. So here we see the same mechanism, a drive, a belt drive, but now we apply a force which will turn with the beam. We'll keep the same angle. So beam 2 will be used as a reference for the angle of this force vector. And I will show you how we did it. So we will modify the force and see what happens here. First we choose the function of any property instead of as a function of time. So this is about the argument of the force vector table we see here. And we choose element beam 2 as we can see here beam 2 and we take its angle as an argument for the force table which is shown here. And here we see if the beam has an angle of approximately zero, it will have a force of one newton and it will point down to minus 90 degrees. And when it ends up at 360 degrees, it still will keep a value of one newton and again it will point down um, so now we will show the force in the belts. Again, we choose both belts, and now we will see there will be a constant force in the pulling part as this constant force rotates with the beam. And the other part of the belt has a zero force. To show it all working, we will also change the progression of the falls and we will change it from zero to one. And now we see the force in the belt will grow up to specific value and also watch the symbol here. The symbol also shows the change of the value. So we see an, a line which is growing. Okay, 